After a weekend of deadly gunfire in Columbus, we are getting answers from City Hall. Tonight, City Council partners with the national organization to prevent more violence. We go one on one with Mayor Andrew Ginther to find out how the city plans to keep your summer safer. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us for NBC4 at 11. I'm Colleen Marshall. And I'm Sierra Johnson in for Carrie Charles. Today, Columbus made national news, but not in a good way. Look at this headline from today's New York Times, how gun violence spread across one American city. That city is Columbus. And despite homicide numbers dropping this year, the Times recalls the homicide surge that happened in Columbus during the pandemic and asks if our city can get back to normal amid looser gun laws. In a new analysis, the Times says the number of Columbus residents exposed to nearby gun violence went from 28 percent to 41 percent during the pandemic years. And as we mentioned, the city is coming off of a violent weekend. Police are still looking for suspects in a mass shooting overnight. Yesterday near Italian Village, it left three men dead and injured three other people. Police are still trying to find out what sparked that gunfire. And today, a man charged in another deadly shooting overnight Saturday appeared in court. Alsea Griffin is accused of killing a man during a birthday celebration for the victim. You'll hear from that victim's mother coming up. And Columbus police are searching for suspects in a shooting early Sunday morning in downtown near Franklin University. A 30 year old man was killed. And tonight, Columbus City Council approved a contract between the city and a national organization that helps address gun violence. That organization is the National Institute for Criminal Justice Reform. It's worked with other major cities and now it's getting to work in Columbus. NBC4's Isabel Cleary has more. The partnership between Columbus's Office of Violence Prevention and the NICJR will help determine the cost of gun violence. Then that money can go to organizations that are working to intervene. NICJR will look at data from the city and create resources to help the city understand the impact of violence. They're going to take that data and start a landscape analysis and really dig into specifically here in Columbus what's working, what's not, and how to move forward. That will include a cost of gun violence analysis. And we're talking about the prosecutorial cost, the incarceration cost associated with uh, gun violence in, in the community. At the end of the day, we know that we're going to have to pay for gun violence one way or another. This work helps cities like Columbus figure out how to route that funding into community organizations that work to address violence. One of those is Kingdom Image Arts. KIA, along with other groups, also received funding tonight for their work in the city. We're one of few, very few programs that are in the North Central area. So being able to serve, continue to serve the city residents in the North Central area definitely ex expounds the work that we're able to do. KIA helps empower and teach kids through art. It makes the difference in, in the community and it gives me the drive to continue the work because we actually live out and see the change. The OVP director says all these plans are marathons, not sprints. We are putting into place prevention methods to help next year, the year after that, while also putting into place methods to help the right now. The contract is for $250,000 for the next year. Local for you at City Hall, I'm Isabel Cleary, NBC4.